Welcome back for another video. Before we begin this video though, I just want to let y'all know, Barrio Tales hoodies are now available. Red, black, purple, orange, and blue. Cash App and PayPal are how you can reach me. They're only $25 with free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. T-shirts are also available still. All you gotta do is hit that Cash App and PayPal that you see right there. Thank you. Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about a tragic ending for a woman named Maria Hicks. On the evening of August 10th, 2007, 16-year-old Angel Christopher Rojas, a.k.a. Scrappy, Richard Roland, Jennifer Tafola, Cesar Lopez, 14-year-old David Carrillo, and 12-year-old Daniel Carrillo, and Christian Lechuga gathered at Tafola's house in Whittier. Lechuga was a member of the Eastside Tresse gang. David was not a member of a gang, but later became a member of Brown Authority. Everyone else was a member of the Brown Authority gang. At some point, all seven went for a drive as the group drove past the wall near the intersection of San Gabriel River Parkway and Woodford Street in Pico Rivera. Members of the group noticed Brown Authority graffiti on the wall had been painted over with YNX3 the initials of another gang. According to Lopez, Angel became hyped up and very animated. He said he wanted to cross out the new graffiti. Roland said Lopez should scratch out the graffiti because he could go over there and do it and get out of there. Lopez did not want to cross out the graffiti. Lopez believed graffiti writing carried a risk of violence. Lechuga shared that belief. Roland insisted Lopez scratch out the graffiti. Angel was pretty drunk and acting the fool. While Lopez was spray painting on the wall, a Honda Element drove up behind them and put its high beams on Lopez. Lopez kept on riding. The Honda came closer to Lopez and honked at him. Lopez started walking away. The Honda followed him. According to Lechuga, Angel got out of Tafola's car and fired at the Honda. Lopez ran away. Angel got back at Tafola's car and Tafola drove off, stopping briefly to pick up Lopez. Lopez was upset with Angel and kept asking him what he had done. Roland and Tafola were upset and yelling at Angel. They said he was stupid and an idiot. It was later determined the driver of the Honda was Maria Hicks, a 57-year-old woman who lived in the neighborhood. Hicks died from a gunshot wound to the head. The shooting was witnessed by Miriam Villanueva and Eric Pena. Villanueva saw a man riding on a wall and also saw the Honda flashing its lights and honking as the tagger moved away from the wall. Villanueva saw Angel exit a parked car and fired a handgun. Villanueva had lived on the same street as Angel and seen him many times. Pena, who was driving her gunshots, turned his head and saw Angel standing in the street with his arms extended and a gun in his hand. Pena's grandparents lived across the street from Angel, and Pena had known Angel since Angel was a small boy. About 9.50 p.m., police went to the intersection of San Gabriel River Parkway in Woodford in response to a report of shots fired. Police saw a Honda Element with bullet holes in its rear window. Maria Hicks was inside the Element, slumped over the wheel with a gunshot wound to her head. Police saw white graffiti reading BXA which had been crossed out with a red graffiti reading YN and X3. Police found a spray paint can near the Honda. Police spoke with Pena, who told them the shooter was Pena's neighbor, Angel. Pena also knew the shooter as Scrappy from Brown Authority. Angel Rojas was arrested on August 14, 2007. Brown Authority, also known as Brown Assassins, began as a tagging crew in 1995 and evolved into a gang around 2001 to 2003. As Brown Authority became a gang, they began feuding with Pico Viejo, an older gang. There were numerous shootings between the gangs. Angel Christopher Rojas was convicted of the first degree murder of Maria Hicks. Angel Rojas was sent to a total term of 50 years to life in state prison, consisting of 25 years to life for murder, plus 25 years to life for personally discharging a firearm. Jennifer Tafola was acquitted of the murder of Maria Hicks, but was found guilty of street terrorism. 
Jennifer was sentenced to three years in prison for participating in a street gang and is now free. A jury found Richard Roland not guilty of the murder and shooting charges, but convicted him of street terrorism. Roland was sentenced and also received three years with time served. Cesar Lopez agreed to testify against the others in exchange for a 21-year sentence.